Panthers, it's Lizbeth again, and we're back again with another week of Panther Q&A. Let's go. Hey guys, the question is, when does the semester end? The semester ends January 22nd, 2021, so make sure you keep your grades up and finish this semester strong. It's Skylar, and one of our questions this week was when do deficiencies come out? Well, they come out this week, so if you got one, then it should be coming home soon. Hey Panthers, so the next question is, when is Christmas break? As you guys all know, your teachers have probably already told you Christmas break takes place next week. So today is the last day of school. So everybody have a great Christmas break. Don't forget we come back on January 4th. So don't be late to class and have fun. Happy New Year's. That's it for this week, Panthers. I hope you had a good week and I hope you guys have a good break as well. Remember to be safe and happy holidays. Hey Panthers, this week's character strong challenge is called Family Matters. Do a chore without being asked today. Maybe it's loading or unloading the dishwasher. Maybe it's doing a chore your brother or sister usually does. Or maybe it's even making your parents' bed. Just try to do something helpful today. So hi Panthers, for this week's teacher interview I have Miss Freeman. My name's Rebecca. And my name's Michaela. So I'm going to be asking you three questions. My first question is, what do you look forward to most this winter? Um, probably this winter, just having some more time to spend with my family. Um, normally winter time is kind of when we, um, start getting really busy doing FFA stuff. And because obviously of COVID, um, a lot of our activities have been canceled. So the, um, I'll say that the fortunate or the upside of that is that it does give me some more time to spend with my family over the holidays. So that's what I'm looking forward to. The next question is, who is your inspiration? That was a tough one because I have a lot of people who have been um, pretty inspirational in my life, um, but probably um, career-wise, my former ag teacher, uh, Mr. Breck, is probably one of my um, one of my main inspirations. He he's definitely the one who pushed me to become an ag teacher and get involved in um, kind of the the things in my life that have got me to or led me to where I am now. Um, if I had not had him and continue to have him in my life, um, I think that my my journey would have looked so he um, was a continued inspiration to me and the, the direction in which I lead my life. The next question is, what is your favorite part of distance learning? Um, not a whole lot of it, um, but probably if I had to say my favorite part, um, and it did not start out as my favorite part, but, um, distance learning really forced me to kind of think outside the box and, um, branch out and kind of look into other options and different activities that I wouldn't necessarily have done in class, but because we are online, it, um, definitely forced me to, get more comfortable with technology like so that I think has been the um has turned into I wouldn't say necessarily maybe my favorite thing but probably the most positive thing that I've um that I've taken away from distance learning is my my use of technology um has drastically improved over the last couple months that's for sure thank you so much Mrs. Freeman for being on this week's teacher interviews yep not a problem This feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on Off from my city, off from my home We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, 